Ziba Mir Hosseini stands as a prominent figure within the realm of Islamic feminism. Her work has sparked widespread debate and controversy. She challenges established interpretations of Islam. She labels these interpretations, both traditional and neo-traditional, as inherently patriarchal. This stance forms the crux of her controversial position. Mir Hosseini argues that Islamic texts, when accurately interpreted, inherently champion gender equality. At the heart of the controversy surrounding Ziba Mir Hosseini's work lies her challenge to traditional Islamic beliefs. She critiques the established understanding of gender roles within Islam, arguing that they are rooted in patriarchal interpretations of religious texts. This assertion has drawn significant criticism from those who uphold the sanctity of traditional Islamic teachings. Ziba Mir Hosseini's central argument hinges on the assertion that traditional and neo-traditional interpretations of Islam are steeped in patriarchy. She posits that these interpretations, often shaped by male scholars throughout history, have resulted in a skewed understanding of gender roles and rights within Islam. Mir Hosseini argues that this patriarchal lens has led to the subjugation of women and the perpetuation of gender inequality within Muslim societies. At the core of Mir Hosseini's argument lies the firm belief that Islamic texts, when interpreted through a gender-sensitive lens, inherently support the principles of gender equality. She posits that the Quran, the holy book of Islam, contains verses that affirm the equal spiritual standing of men and women, challenging interpretations that emphasize male superiority. Ziba Mir Hosseini's argument extends beyond simply reinterpreting Islamic texts. She delves into the very concept of gender itself. Mir Hosseini posits that gender, rather than being a fixed biological category, is a social construct shaped by cultural norms and societal expectations. This perspective challenges the traditional Islamic view that assigns specific roles and responsibilities to men and women based on their biological sex. Ziba Mir Hosseini's ideas, while presented within an Islamic framework, inevitably intersect with broader societal trends, particularly the rise of individualism. To understand the potential ramifications of her arguments, it's helpful to draw upon Robert N. Bella's seminal work, Habits of the Heart. Bella's exploration of individualism in the American context provides a valuable lens through which to examine the potential impact of Mir Hosseini's emphasis on individual rights and autonomy within the context of Islamic societies. One of the most significant ramifications of Mir Hosseini's ideas is their potential impact on traditional family structures within Islamic societies. Her critique of patriarchal interpretations of Islam directly challenges the roles and responsibilities traditionally assigned to men and women within the family unit. This challenge, while lauded by some as a necessary step towards gender equality, raises concerns about the potential destabilization of a fundamental pillar of Islamic society. The central tension that emerges from Ziba Mir Hosseini's work lies in the challenge of reconciling her emphasis on individual rights and autonomy with the collectivist ethos and traditional values that underpin Islamic societies. While her advocacy for gender equality resonates with modern notions of social justice, it also raises fundamental questions about the compatibility of individualistic values with the core tenets of Islam. To fully grasp the implications of Mir Hosseini's arguments, it's crucial to understand the profound influence of collectivism on traditional Islamic societies. This collectivist ethos permeates every aspect of life, from family structures and social interactions to religious practices and political ideologies. It stands in stark contrast to the individualism prevalent in many Western societies, highlighting a fundamental difference in worldviews. In stark contrast to the collectivist ethos of traditional Islamic societies, 
the modern world, particularly in the West, has witnessed the ascendancy of individualism. This paradigm shift, with its emphasis on personal autonomy, self-reliance, and the pursuit of individual goals, has profoundly impacted social structures, value systems, and even spiritual beliefs. This shift towards individualism presents both opportunities and challenges for Muslims navigating the complexities of the modern world. Section 3, Mir Hosseini's Tightrope, Walk, Navigating Two Worlds. Ziba Mir Hosseini's work occupies a complex and often uncomfortable space within this broader debate between collectivism and individualism. Her arguments for gender equality, while framed within an Islamic context, inevitably draw upon individualistic principles of autonomy, self-determination and equal rights. This attempt to reconcile Islamic teachings with individualistic values places her work on a tightrope, navigating the often conflicting demands of tradition and modernity. Ziba Mir Hosseini's approach to Islamic feminism hinges heavily on the concept of idihad, a cornerstone of Islamic jurisprudence that allows for independent reasoning and interpretation of religious texts. While traditionally employed by qualified scholars, Mir Hosseini, along with other Islamic feminists, argue for a more democratized approach to ijtihad, encouraging individual Muslims, particularly women, to engage in critical reflection and reinterpretation of Islamic teachings related to gender. Section 2. A House Divided, Divergent Interpretations and Islamic Unity. The emphasis on personal interpretation, Ijetahad, championed by Mir Hosseini and other Islamic feminists, has sparked a crucial debate about the limits of interpretation and the potential for divergent understandings of Islamic teachings. While proponents view it as a necessary step towards a more inclusive and egalitarian Islam, Critics express concerns about the potential for fragmentation and the erosion of traditional Islamic unity. Section 3. Guardians of Tradition Resisting Radical Reinterpretations The push for reinterpreting Islamic teachings on gender has been met with staunch resistance from traditional and neo-traditional Muslims who view these reinterpretations as a departure from the authentic understanding of Islam. They believe that the original teachings, as they have been passed down through generations, hold a sacred and unalterable truth that should not be tampered with. This resistance is not just about preserving religious texts, but also about maintaining a way of life that has been guided by these teachings for centuries. These guardians of tradition argue that Islamic teachings, as revealed in the Quran and Sunnah, the Prophet Muhammad's teachings and practices are timeless and immutable, providing a comprehensive framework for all aspects of life, including gender roles and relations. They emphasize that any attempt to reinterpret these teachings is seen as a threat to the very foundation of their faith. For them, the Quran and Sunnah are not just historical documents, but living guides that continue to offer relevant and practical solutions to contemporary issues. This perspective is deeply rooted in a belief that divine wisdom transcends time and human understanding, making the original interpretations perpetually applicable. The debate over reinterpretation is thus not merely academic, but touches the core of religious identity and community cohesion. Section 1. The Sacred Tapestry Gender Roles in the Islamic Family Ziba Mir Hosseini's feminist critiques of traditional Islamic thought inevitably extend to the very heart of Muslim societies, the family structure. Her arguments, rooted in the belief that gender is a social construct, pose a direct challenge to the traditional Islamic understanding of gender roles within the family, roles often seen as divinely ordained and essential to maintaining social harmony and spiritual well-being. Mir Hosseini's feminist lens leads her to view the traditional complementarian model of the Islamic family as inherently unequal and oppressive to women. She argues that this model, while often presented as divinely ordained, is in reality a product of patriarchal interpretations of Islamic teachings, interpretations that have served to restrict women's roles in society and limit their full potential.
Mir Hosseini's challenge to traditional Islamic understandings of gender and family unfolds against the backdrop of a rapidly changing world, a world in which globalization, technological advancements, and shifting cultural norms are reshaping traditional social structures and challenging long-held beliefs. This complex and often uncertain landscape presents unique challenges for Muslims, particularly women, as they navigate the often conflicting demands of tradition and modernity. Section 4, The Unraveling Consequences of Shifting Gender Roles As we delve deeper into this topic, it becomes evident that the shifting dynamics within gender roles in Muslim societies are not just a matter of academic discourse, but have real-world implications. The potential consequences of Mir Hosseini's proposed reinterpretation of gender roles within Islam are a subject of intense debate, sparking conversations across various platforms from academic circles to community gatherings. With both proponents and critics offering starkly different visions of the future of Muslim societies, the discourse is rich and multifaceted. Proponents argue that reinterpreting gender roles could lead to a more inclusive and equitable society, where both men and women can thrive without the constraints of traditional expectations. At the heart of this debate lies the fundamental question of whether Mir Hosseini's vision represents a path towards greater equality and liberation for Muslim women, providing them with opportunities to participate fully in all aspects of life, from education to leadership roles or, as critics fear, a dangerous unravelling of the social and moral fabric of Islamic civilization. They worry that such changes could lead to a loss of cultural identity and values that have been upheld for centuries. The outcome of this debate will undoubtedly shape the future of Muslim societies, influencing how gender roles are perceived and enacted in the years to come. Ziba Mir Hosseini's reimagining of gender equality within Islam, while presented with conviction and scholarly weight, ultimately presents a precarious proposition. Her work delves deeply into the intricate layers of Islamic jurisprudence, seeking to uncover a more inclusive interpretation of gender roles. This endeavor, though noble in its intent, walks a fine line between progressive thought and the risk of alienating traditionalists. Her approach, while seemingly aligned with contemporary notions of social justice and individual rights, risks undermining the very foundations upon which Islamic societies have flourished for centuries. The balance between maintaining religious authenticity and embracing modern values is delicate. Mir Hosseini's propositions challenge long-standing interpretations urging a re-evaluation of gender dynamics within the faith. This has sparked intense debates among scholars and practitioners alike as they grapple with the implications of her ideas. Her reinterpretation of Islamic texts, while claiming to unveil a hidden egalitarianism, raises serious concerns about the selective reading of scripture and the imposition of modern, secular values onto a faith deeply rooted in tradition and divine revelation. Critics argue that her methodology may overlook the historical and cultural contexts in which these texts were written. They caution against a one-size-fits-all approach to religious reform, emphasizing the need for a nuanced understanding of both the past and present. Mir Hosseini's work, therefore, stands at a crossroads, inviting both admiration and scrutiny as it navigates the complex terrain of faith and modernity. Section 2, Safeguarding the Soul of Islam, a call for balanced dialogue. While acknowledging the need for ongoing reflection and dialogue within the Muslim community, it is imperative to approach calls for radical reinterpretations of Islamic teachings with caution and discernment. The integrity of Islam, its timeless wisdom and spiritual depth must be safeguarded against attempts to mold it in the image of fleeting secular trends.